بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في العربين أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين. We continue our discussion about tawakkul. Inshallah, we finish our discussion today. There are two remaining points. One is the difference between tawakkul and rida. So the late Imam Khomeini here has a discussion about the difference between tawakkul and rida. To put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be pleased with Him. So he says the station or position of rida is higher than the position of tawakkul. You know, sometimes, this is my explanation, sometimes we are talking about tawakkul and rida as action, as verb as we say in grammar or action in an ontological sense that now I put my trust in Allah or I am pleased with Allah in this decision or in this matter but sometimes it's a station the condition which is more endurable to be in the condition of tawakkul to be a mutawakkil uh, by putting your trust in Allah in one or two cases, you don't become mutawakkil. Or by being pleased with him in few issues, you are not in the position of rida. So here the focus is on the position of rida and the position of tawakkul. He says, the position of rida is higher than tawakkul. Why? He says, the one who is mutawakkil, he is asking and seeking good. He wants goodness. He wants interest. He wants, for example, success, whatever. And then he knows that he needs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help. So he puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asks Allah, asks Allah to be like his wakil, to act on his behalf. So he has some interest, he has some aims and objectives, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be helping him in achieving those aims and objectives. But the one who is in the position of Rida has no aims and objectives of himself, has no will. His will is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the people in this position was asked, what do you want? And he said, I want not to want. Means I have reached the point that I prefer not to have any desire of my own. Ma, he was said, told, Ma turid, what do you want? And he said, Uridu Allah urid. I want not to want. Means I have decided not to have any will, any desire of myself. So this is higher than the position of tawakkul. In the hadith that we had at the beginning of this part, uh, Imam alayhi salam said, you should be pleased with whatever Allah does with you. That reza which was mentioned in the context of tawakkul is different from maqam tawakkul and maqam reza. That reza was for someone who is doing tawakkul and is pleased with what happens to him after tawakkul. So don't get confused uh, between the position of Rida and what Imam said about being pleased with what Allah 
uh, makes as your decree. The next point is, what is the difference between tawakkul and tafwid? And then between tawakkul and tafwid and thiqah. Tafwid is to delegate your affair to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And according to Khaja Abdullah Ansari in Manazal al-Sa'irin, stations of the wayfarers, he says, At-tafwidu al-tafu isharatan wa awsa'u ma'anan min at-tawakkul. He says, Tafwid is more subtle and more inclusive than tawakkul. Then he says, At-tawakkulu shu'batun min. Indeed, tawakkul is a branch of tafwid. So tafwid is more inclusive, more comprehensive, more far-reaching. And the way he explains is that he says, tawakkul means, according to him, Tawakkul means that in your interest, in masalih, in interest, you trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But tafwiz is that you delegate everything to him. Every aspect of your life you delegate it to him. Another difference, he says, is that tawakkul is when something is happening. For example, there is a war, or you don't want to do business, you want to do something, and that's where you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But tafwid can be even before something is happening. In your entire life, you can have tafwid. Imam Khomeini says, but tawakkul can be the same. We can have tawakkul and tafwiz both when something is happening, we are in the process of doing something or we are approaching happening of something or it can be general. This is not a big difference. And also to say that tawakkul is a branch of tafwiz, he says this is also not something which is proved. And it seems to me that maybe we can say that tafwid is higher than tawakkul. Uh, because tawakkul is that you are still thinking that you are in charge and you want to do something but you need help, so you do esta'ana, or you think that is more than asking for help. You say, you please do this for me. If you remember in the uh, lecture we had in Muharram, uh, 2016, October 2016, I explained four levels of bringing Allah to our life. We said that tafwiz is higher than tawakkul because in tafwiz you delegate your effort to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it means that you have reached a point that you feel you are somehow useless. Not that you are lazy. No, you do your best, but you say, I delegate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and just I, you know, pretend that I am doing something. I do my best, but it's him who is in charge. He's not my wakil. I am his agent. Everything I have dedicated to him. And then we have thiqa. Thiqa in Arabic means to trust, to rely on something. And Khaja Abdullah Ansari says, 
الثقته سواد عين التوكل ونقطة دائرة التفويض وسويداء قلب التسليم If you imagine an eye then the apple of the eye is very important part the center so he says tawakkul can be taken as an eye and the apple of the eye is thiqa or you can consider tafwiz as a circle and the central point is thiqa or taslim submission can be taken as heart and the very internal part of that heart is thiqa so it means that neither tawakkul nor tafwiz no even taslim can be achieved without thiqa so thiqa is such an important thing but what is thiqa it means you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's power and excellence and help and love and everything and you trust him you rely on him as we have in the hadith thiq bihi fiha wa fi qayraha you must rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be sure about his availability and his presence and support in every effort in every matter in this case or any other case so this is uh, the discussion here uh, i hope to some extent it's clear it's very brief discussion but maybe if you refer to that lecture in october 2016 inshallah would be uh, useful the main thing is that uh, these qualities sometimes also repeat in a higher level this is a new reflection that i have had after giving that lecture and can be also applicable here i think what our ulama say about difference between tawakkul and tafwiz uh, this is good and acceptable but then after more reflection i came to this conclusion that maybe we can have tawakkul of a person who is also doing tafwid or for example i said in that lecture that at the end is abd who has no affair to delegate to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but again abd receives some assignments from his lord again in doing that assignment which is not his own affair he can do tawakkul and tafriz and istana so it seems to me that now we can imagine uh, like a kind of building that every section has like four levels but then there is a for example in the first section four levels then another section again those four levels but the four levels in the second section are higher than the four levels in the first section although they may are may be called the same so tawakkul of someone is lower and tawakkul of someone is higher are different from each other okay so this is about hadith number 13 hadith number 14 is khawf and raja let us read the hadith and translate it and inshallah we can explain it in the next session so imam khomeini says bisanadi al muttasil ila muhammad ibn yaqub according to his own chain of narrators which connects him to shaykh al kulaini muhammad ibn yaqub al kulaini the one who compiled al kafi and he 
mentions him with respect. He says, Thaqatil Islam wa imadil Muslimin. Thaqatil Islam wa imadil Muslimin. The one who is trusted in Islam and is also a pillar for Muslims. The Muslims rely on him. An iddatin min ashabina. So Sheikh Kulaini narrates from more than one narrator from Ahmad ibn Muhammad, from Ali ibn Hadid, from Mansur ibn Yunus, from Haris ibn Mughayrah, or Abi, one of the two, from Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. Qala qultu lahu ma fi wasiyyat al-Luqman, or ma kana fi wasiyyat al-Luqman. He says, I told Imam alayhi salam, what was in the advice or will of Luqman? What was Luqman advising? Qala kana fiha al-a'ajib. Imam alayhi salam said there were wonders in his will or his advice. Wa kana a'jab ma kana fiha an qala libnihi. And one of the most astonishing surprising <coughs> things in that advice was that Luqman said to his son وَرَجُوا اللَّهَ رَجَاءً لَوْ جِئْتَهُ بِذُنُوبِ الثَّغَلَيْنِ لَرَحِمَكْ The most astonishing thing that he used to say to his son was this, that fear God, a type of fear, that you are worried that even if you bring all the good action and piety of jinn and ins jinns and human beings still he would have punished you means don't put any trust in your actions even if you have best action and all actions good actions of human beings and jinns still you must have this worry that la'adzabak he may punish you. So no chance for ujb. No chance for self-admiration. But on the other hand, have such a hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if you bring sins of human beings and jinns, you would have a hope that he would have mercy upon you. ثُمَّ قَالَ أَبُوْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ Then Imam Sadiq alayhi salam said, كَانَ أَبِي يَقُولُ My father, Imam Baghir, used to say, إِنَّهُ لَيْسَ مِنْ عَبْدٍ مُؤْمِنٍ إِلَّا وَفِي قَلْبِهِ نُورَانِ There is no believing servant of God unless there are two lights in his heart or her heart. نور خيفة ونور رجاء Light of fear and light of hope لو وزن هذا لم يزد على هذا ولو وزن هذا لم يزد على هذا If the light of fear is measured against and weighed against the light of hope it would not be more it would not overweigh and vice versa these two lights must be there and must be equal so with the balance between fear and hope we can find our way through happiness so this is the hadith that inshallah we will talk more about it in the next session we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to do tawakkul
to be pleased with him, to submit and delegate our affairs to him, to rely on him, and to have balance, fear, and hope, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.